Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of... Lucky ate rice. <laughs> yeah, Lucky ate rice. <coughs> Fried rice. My gosh, Lucky. Boy, lick the plate clean and one <coughs> Hey, look, your plate clean? I just put mine down? Uh, and mine's clean. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we know he's a Shih Tzu, but... <laughs> it must I don't be, think he was born in China. It must be his Chinese jeans or something. Because the siblings family... I don't wear jeans. We had, uh... Fried rice. We had sort of a... Korean barbecue, but I cut the meat off the bones, and we had white rice, not sticky rice though. But um, this video is for one of our two daughters. We were worried about you. We didn't know what happened to you. I mean, I don't know if there's um, if. Look, <coughs> we understand going to the hospital. We're not, you know, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not upset. We're not disappointed. We're not. That. Yeah, we understand. We would have liked, though, if somebody would have let us know. Maybe your husband. Um, I mean, if we didn't know what happened to you. We didn't know maybe you were mad at us. We didn't know if you were were hurt, uh, if you went camping or went to a friend's house. We didn't know. We just didn't know. And, you know, I, I don't know um, uh, the hospital you go to. I don't know if you can uh, receive phone calls. Um, I know where I used to go, the places I used to go in San Antonio, um, you had to have a code. Um, well, I think it was a four digit, three or four digit code. Like a number code? Yeah. Like a pin code? Yeah. And like uh, each patient had their own code and if you wanted to call and talk to the patient you had to know their code. Otherwise they would not acknowledge the person was there. Uh, privacy, you know, patient privacy issues. Um, so, uh, but, you know, I mean, we couldn't have called you anyway because we didn't know where you were. Um, well, maybe we should have asked your husband. You know, uh, that might have been a good idea. Um, mm, I ate a lot. I ate like two plates worth. Uh, and mommy over here, I fed her, I loaded her up on carbs, which I shouldn't have done. Well, I could have served the beef without the extra rice. Yeah. Are you going to go look for more, Lucky? Yeah, he's looking for more. There, he found one grain of rice. Oh, boy. And he acts like it's a gold mine. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's looked at me like, hey, where's more? Was that good, Lucky? Probably had a good flavor to it with all that. Well, the bacon taste to it. Yeah, the, the fried rice had bacon and egg and peas, soy sauce, and uh, sesame seed oil. And then the Korean barbecue was sweet because it had brown sugar in it. But not sickeningly, but just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> we still have rice. Want to come over and have rice? Um, well, anyway, um, next time you go to hospital, please either you let us know or have your husband let us know. So at least we know what's going on and we don't start worrying and coming up with all sorts of possibilities in our heads. Um, we don't know what's going on. Yeah, we just don't know what's going on. Uh, also, since you've been in hospital, you haven't seen the videos we've been making. How long was she in there? A week. Oh my, when did she go in? I don't know, I'd have to ask her. Um, to do our part. We're 
this is still aggravated. You can't see it, but there's this red mark on me. I rubbed against something, I think, today when I was walking Lucky because I walked him around the block. Not as bad as it, not bothering me as much as it was. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, so we're dealing with a number of issues, and uh, one is moving. Well, if we could. If we could, yeah. <coughs> you see, there are advantages and disadvantages to living here. I like it, but I think my wife would prefer somewhere else. Um, two advantages that we have here. One is, as long as one of us is working, they have this program where we could buy a house. Which would be really nice. None of us is working. Yeah. The other program, I don't know if that's the house program or if it's a different one. We put in X amount of money into a savings account, essentially. It would triple it. And they would triple the money. That would be great. Well, we still owe Cheshire Housing or whatever money for helping us get this place. And it's getting more harder for us to save money. Yeah. Not that we don't want to save money, it's just we need things. No. And then they're going up and they're not coming down. They're not. And we're not getting more. You know, it's essentially we're getting less because, like my wife just said, the government's trying to cut back on us. Not. You know, the price of everything goes up, but our income doesn't go up. Like me right now, I need medicine. Yeah. I have no insurance. We don't know how much it's going to Do you know how much it's going to cost oh you? God, I don't know. I'm almost afraid to call Target and find out. Yeah. I understand. I'm thinking it could be somewhere around $100. Um, for our, our daughter, Mommy's, can I say what one of the medicines is? Yeah. It's going to be on Depakote. Uh, and it hurts mommy's tummy. Yeah. It really hurts her tummy. Well, they're trying to get me off, not give me twice a day, give it to me twice a day, so it maybe it won't tear my stomach up so bad. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've been on Depakote in the past. and I think you've been on every medicine there is. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on the... It's like the walking encyclopedia of medicine. <laughs> yeah. Over there. Yeah, I um, I was. Yeah. Uh, I I was on generic Depakote once, and oh my gosh! Talking about ripping up the stomach. Well, he said maybe if I take it with food, it won't bother my stomach so bad. Well, I hope so. And, and I mean, just the regular release, you know. Yeah. No. Stuff. So. <coughs> shit is not cheap. <coughs> oh, Depakotes. Oh God. Can you imagine how much my? Um. Let's see. What most of the pharmacies I called were like 140 something. Jeez. For a one month supply. And I'm not gonna like show everything on this pill bottle, but. Well, now you can't even see it. Uh, this Seroquel, you're knocking about three, four hundred bucks. But you have in Medicaid. Here. Yeah, I have Medicaid and Medicare. So Medicare. otherwise, we'd be able to creep. Yeah, I would not be here because I would not want my wife to have to deal with me. I would go in the woods or something. I just bonk you on the head with Aaron's kill it. <laughs> so. Um, um, is there anything else we need to tell her? The one thing we would like is just to know what's going on. Just let us know what's happening, honey. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I, I don't know if I fully said it, but if you do go into hospital and you want us to call you, you or your husband will have to give us, I don't know if they have a code system there, will have to give us that information. Um, because otherwise, you know, we can't call you, can't talk to you. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. And in all honesty, it sounds like we we're both about in the same boat, honey. Yeah, if you did, I guess you heard her. Um, I know I have a television on, but I need some the sound. Yeah. 
So, that's a little bit better. <laughs> so, um, oh, you want to know what happened the other day? <laughs> Mommy was in the hospital. Oh, God. She was getting out. Okay. I, first of all, I can't see the, the thing, the buttons on the phone. Second, I don't think I had it charged or oh. something. Babe, it, I thought the ringer was on. Maybe it was. I don't know. Well, what did take the phone to Liz? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I'm in bed. Lucky's in bed. There's a knocking at the door. Lucky starts barking. I'm like, oh gosh, it's probably the neighbor or the landlord. I don't want to get up. The person, no. person wouldn't stop knocking. So I got up and I, as I'm walking. Over there, I see the police car out front. I'm like, oh no! I think I told it, even told the guy to keep knocking on the door until you come to the door. Oh, so I get there. I said, go pick your wife up. Why? Well, well, I told him too. You were deaf in one ear, so. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I got just... <laughs> lucky is a very tenacious barker. Yeah. He doesn't shut up easy. No. Sometimes he actually barks at a noise on um, television. Oh. So and then trying to get him to shut up. It's like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, that's the time he won't shut up. And like, stop it! <laughs> so I didn't take a shower. I didn't do anything. I just put, made sure I, you know, I had already. fell out of bed. And <laughs> yeah, I just, I went down there. I was like, yeah! So. Uh. If we would have had more gas, there was, well, one day I didn't see her, didn't go down there because I had been up for two and a half days. And well, that was the night I went in. I yeah. went in like at one o'clock in the morning. Went there about eight o'clock at night, didn't get in until about one o'clock in the morning. Jeez. So, like, the, ne the next day I slept. And then, like, the day after that, I slept and stayed and woke up, slept and woke up. You know, I kept doing that. Finally, I got, you know, my sleep back. Yeah, my first night in there, I only slept like four hours. Oh, gosh. Please. I finally, I fell asleep at 2.30 in the morning and I woke up at 6.30, but that was because one of the other little twits was running around yelling at the the hallway, yelling at the top of her <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> the little scrawny one. Oh. I was like, God dang it. That's the one that got yeah. sent over to Water Street? Yeah. Water this, girl, well, this woman's about the size of a popsicle stick. <laughs> I think she weighs 110 pounds. Oh gosh. I'm like, sheesh. And she's short. She's tiny. Yeah. Um, and water. I mean, a popsicle stick is about a good body <laughs> size for her. Yeah, Water Street is the women's shelter, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we stayed for a while. I'm sure she's going to drive them all batty in about a day. Yeah. They're going to be ready to throw her ass out in the street. So. Because she never doesn't shut up. <laughs> that's bad. God, woman. Hush. Breathe. <laughs> You're going to turn blue. Oh, they caught a chupacabra at the airport. A what? No, I, I, th I think they're talking like about the... pig or something? No, the, uh, the Chewbacca. Okay, come on. Oh. He wants in daddy's lap. He likes it. <sighs> but, well, he doesn't know whether he wants it on the couch or not. Now, you want to tell your, your, uh... Well, you want to tell our daughter, Lucky... About what happened to you? Say no, don't don't remind me. What? Oh, his trip to the doctor. Yeah, he had a uh, his. We think it was his right hind leg, but it could have Something been his. Something was going on with his leg. Yeah, he was limping. He was hopping like. And um, it actually got to the point where he didn't even want to get up. Wouldn't go drink. Wouldn't go eat. And he likes to eat. And anyway, so we didn't have any money. And we made the mistake of giving him an ass. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of knocked him out, we think. Uh, but how do we know? Uh, so anyway, um, we well, my wife called around. And uh, this we, we had an appointment for him, actually. The town veterinarian is... Kind of high priced. Yeah, they're like twice as much as what we wound up paying. Yeah. I don't know if it's because it's Troy and it's a little bitty, itty bitty town or he thinks he's got a captive audience or what, but kind of odd. Well, we took him into Keene. Was it Cheshire Animal Hospital? Yeah, almost. 
right pretty close to the grocery store where we go do our shopping at actually and they uh they didn't charge us when we you know when we didn't have any money they it was they just let us wait until the third and you know, bring the money to them and well, we tried to get their on that one credit program but it didn't accept us because we didn't have enough credit history or something so it was what did we pay like 115 116 116 so dog ear <laughs> about gold plated yeah uh, they gave him a you know he got his all his uh, shots and everything and um, he didn't appreciate getting a thermometer no <laughs> that nor the shots he's like what are you doing fortunately he had a muzzle on and I think if he hadn't he would have clamped down on somebody yeah he was giving her that look like he was mad yeah and um he has a snub face so you know putting a muzzle on him is not the easiest it's thing it's like glue it to his head yeah <laughs> then he would have been really irate yeah so they they gave him some pain medicine. We gave it to him for like two or three days, and, and we think he actually figured out that it he could tell that it was helping him. No, yeah. like we would give him like put it in a hot piece of hot dog, and then he'd like, oh, I want another hot dog. But, and he, but he kind of like hop around too, like yeah, like he knew that the medicine was making him feel better. Yeah, so he has it. Well, I still have to put his tag on him, but. His rabies tag. You better find that damn thing before you lose it. Yeah. It was already <coughs> lost. So, let's see. I guess that's, um... Now you see why I get afraid when I have to go to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid of what the, come, what, I'm gonna, what the house is going to look like when I come back. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, so, that's, uh, this video is oh, five seconds from 17 minutes long. And now it is 17.5 minutes, 